Hi guys, Martin here, True North Ministry. Yesterday I've spoken on um, how important it is to understand first key when we read the book of Revelation is that um, uh, that um, God called every uh, prophet in its time to speak to that generation and then we see that the Lord called him with a voice and um, he was on the day of the Lord and um, the voice said to him, listen, I want you to write a letter um, to seven churches. I write it in a book and um, we know that this is a prophecy. Now, um, he was in jail. If he was maybe standing in front of the church, um, like prophets do, um, he would say, the Lord has a specific message to you, church, and um, I want to prophesy over you. And then he start off by telling them first, um, the Lord says that um, you are called, um, he loves you, he sees your work, but there's things not right, all right? And then he will start off with Revelation 4, till 22, by prophesying. Now, you need to know that prophets use words um, in the Old Testament. Um, every word is not a literal they will use like the trees of the field will clap their hands. The mountains will flow like, um, you know, honey and, and, and the clouds and the beast. And all the people are like grasshoppers and stuff like that. So you need to understand the symbolic meaning of words. And John was a prophet for 2000 years ago for that church. All right, so today we are reading a letter of those time for those people, but we need to understand it. What, what is the importance of this letter? So this is a prophetic word. So if he would have stood in front of the church, he would say to them, the Lord says, I have the problem, but come up either. Come higher. Come, let me show you what you can be. And then the whole book of Revelation, you can place it actually in three parts. All right, but I want you to understand this. This is so much images and so powerful. Um, he wants to speak a concept. So he would start off with the trumpets. You know, the seals that need to be broken and you need to be part of that seals. This is what God, the Lord Jesus Christ did 2,000 years ago. So the seal, then there is horses coming out. Horses are spirits of God, according to Old Testament prophets. And you need to receive this. And then the trumpets is the thing that are blown over mankind. And, and this needs to, to be understood. So what the... That is in three parts. He would start off with the seals. All right. Then he will finish it. And then he will say, this is the finished work of Christ. Then he retreat a little bit. All right. And he, he will actually say, let me explain you from another view. Um, I'm going to explain to you how trumpets that were blown over mankind and how you need to receive and uh, the blessings of it because he started off in Revelation 1 where he says blessed are those who hear this prophecy and speak this prophecy and understand this prophecy so it's not about calamity and fear it is awesomeness that you need to know to get to a higher place. And then he will break open this trumpet. And then he finished it and he will try to say, let me explain it another view. There is vials thrown open over mankind. 
but the true church, the city, the new Jerusalem can shine with the glory of God. And this is Revelation 21. So you must look like your father and think have his mind. All right. And the glory will shine upon you. And then you will start uh, to say in Revelation 22, listen, I want you now to come and drink because the spirit, you need the spirit to drink water and that will be in your belly flowing rivers of living water that is the water coming out of the throne so where's the throne you the cross inside of you is the throne life all right so it's not outside it's not the image of heaven so it is actually speaking prophesying let me explain it again retreat go back rewind explain it in a another sense and let me explain it um, to you again in this way all right so it's a prophetic word to the church to the seven uh, assemblies now what is the problem why people cannot see it and this is a very big key what the lord jesus christ gave to me i want to read this to you this morning so if you have your bible you can go to Revelation 4. Revelation 4 verse 1. It's one word that is so important. When I heard the Lord Jesus Christ said, there, he showed me many keys in the book of Revelation to understood it. Remember, John is the prophet. He will prophesy over the church. All right? But he could not because he wasn't just So you write it down. But I was called as a prophetic teacher so 20 years ago the lord opened my eyes and my ears to to see it instantly in one night i had this meeting with the lord so i understood well this is awesome awesome so now i understood and now i can explain for our generation what you need to know to get to a higher dimension and a higher place with the lord jesus a real thing we have his mind and his spirit but the lord jesus christ wants us to be truly one with him and there's keys and there's things that we need to understand all right so all these vials and fire on the earth and trees that burn and the sun and stars falling it's all about men it's all about you it's not literal natural things and events that is going to take place. But where is the second key, the problem? This, after this, all right, so here is chapter one, two, and three. I saw the church, there are seven candlesticks, they like seven candlesticks, but Jesus was in the middle of them. And I heard the voice where the voices come up either, all right. Now you know, need to understand Revelation 4. And after this, I look and behold a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard, all right. So the Lord said to him, listen, I want you to um, uh, see the church. It's all about Jesus and me. I'm the Alpha and the Omega and I want them to come to a higher place. There is an open door in heaven. And the first voice that I heard addressing me, voice, like the calling of a war trumpet. There is that again. It's not trumpets, literal trumpet. It's voices calling me. So it's loud. All right. Come up here and I will show you what must take place must be year after all right now i'm so sorry for um bible translations all right if we do not have the spirit of the lord that leads us we can read our bible with love for the lord and with the wrong words can give it slightly of true north all right then are we are a magnetic north all right 
So we need to stay in true north. And this is where the Amplified and some of the other translations makes a mistake. They will say, I will show you what must took place in the future. That is wrong. The word is hereafter. The Greek word is tota. All right, tota. All right, it means hereafter. Let me explain you this because the Lord showed me here is the problem why there are more than two, there are three and four schools. All right, about because of this word, all right? Year after, it means after the year and now, all right? So let me show you, I'm going to say to you, I'm standing in the middle of the church in chapter one, two, and three, but I heard the voice behind me say, come up here. And then I turned around and I saw an open door so when you saw the open door, the Lord is going to reveal stuff now to him. What is year after? After Jesus is in the middle of the seven churches where there are candlesticks without fire. All right. They need to burn for the Lord. I can see your works, but I have this problem with you. I'm going to say and prophesy over you greatness that you need to understand. Now, here and after the year, after the now. So today is today. It's now. Yesterday is past, but yesterday is connected to today. 12 o'clock tonight, the day will go through to the next day, all right? So at 12 midnight, it's connected to each other. You need to understand it. So yesterday is past, today is here and now. This is how you are. But after now, it means tonight at 12 is tomorrow. It is after now and not future. Past is not 100 years back. Past is everything that's connected unto now, that's finished. You need to understand this. And after, year after is, is every future, everything that I'm going to say now, it's connected to now. There is no gap between the present and the past and the future. So it's not I'm going to prophesy to you. It's now how the church is. And then, oh sorry. And in the future, there is no time gap space. Oh, this will happen in the future. Because when we speak future, we think, oh, in the future, I think on 10 years and 20 years and 30 years further. So now I read Amplified Bible and it says, I will show you things that's in the future. Oh, I wonder what cars are we going to drive in the future. But do you know that tomorrow is the future? That's why it's a wrong word. It means actually follow. The Greek word means these things and follow it. Follow these things. After word, afterwards, year after. All right. It is not a long time. So what is the year after for them? It means that you are now in the present and in the place spiritually. But I'm going to prophesy over you. Because remember, this is a prophetic word standing in front of the church. But they could not be there, so write it down for them. All right. So now he says, this is what I see on the day of the Lord. The Lord says, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. The Alpha means the main dog, the main head. 
but you are the body of Christ and you need to be that. You are the Alpha and the Omega, Lord Jesus. But I, Jesus, is the Omega, the end, is with the church, the body. So now you are standing without fire and I want you to return, repent, come back to your first love. Let me put some oil and salt in your eyes. You think you are rich, but no, you are not rich. Every church, let me tell you, there is an open door. Let me show you what can be year after when you see the revelation of Jesus Christ, what he done for you when he was on earth on the day of the Lord. And then you can walk in the fullness thereof. So when you see this, what I'm saying you, to you, your eyes will be open. The Lord Jesus Christ will come and he will start revealing the whole book of Revelation to us. All right. So the scroll was Jesus Christ. The seven seals are the seven spirits of God that were opened. Seven angels or seven spirits came out. We receive that seven spirits. The glassy sees the people of God with his mind. All right. I saw angels throw things on earth, in earth. We are earthen vessels. All right. And then I see a mountain fall on the earth that's burning. That's the new Jerusalem, the Zion church, the mountain of the Lord. Oh boy. I saw a woman pregnant. All right. <laughs> I see Israel. All right, I see the woman is, is, is Mary. All right, and she is pregnant with the word of God and she needs to be kept. All right, but I see this war in the spirit realm. All right, so everything happened. Nothing in the book of Revelation still needs to come. It is the, let me show you that what must play, take place year after all right after the year and now no times and space and now we are reading in 2000 years further and we will say wow this is awesome news and the people that then is listening to the revelations that the lord is revealing to us about the book of Revelation are starting to manifest that in the spirit and they are saying Lord you are so awesome because the whole book of Revelation is a, is a, a testimony what Jesus Christ did. Come and testify about Jesus Christ and be a witness for the word of God. All right. Who is the word of God? Jesus Christ. Not about anything else. So my second point that you need to understand is year after. Do da. Do da. Not future. All right. And may this word help you and bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.